Which jobs are at the highest risk of being automated by AI? I was reading this article and it kept me thinking. As AI continues to advance, many industries are grappling with the question of which jobs will be most affected by automation a few years from. In your opinion, which ones will be the most affected industries? Customer service, no doubt. People at Chegg, because fuck that page. Reddit mod. Translators. Call center. I just saw a story about how Instagram influences were being replaced by AI-generated art, and I bet that the previous influences never saw that one coming. It looks like those content creators are going have to up their game if they want to keep up with the demands of their audience. The safe jobs are the ones where you can't easily get sample data of produced work. Marketing. Legal. Tons and tons of that online and easy to access. Plumbing. Not so much. I feel like graphic design. Some of the stuff on Mid Journey is insane. And maybe that's where this is becomes a pivot and graphic designers become AI query designers. I like making predictions about the future but also keep in mind that humans are notoriously poor at predicting the future, which makes me optimistic in a weird kind of way. As a CPA, I can see accounting contracting considerably. I think that there will always be a need for them. But a good portion of accounting is mindless Excel work. If AI can take most of that grunt work, then accounting departments won't need 20 accountants doing 50 value-added work and 50 grunt work. They'll be able to get away with 10 accountants doing 100 value-added work. And that number will trim down as AI's capabilities improve. Software engineers that don't learn to use AI. Recruiters will be the first to go ironically. Not quite GPT but AI in general. I saw a post about how voice actors will be going out of work. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. The bottom 95 of every profession. When is politician going to make the list? I'm an editor. And work volume has decreased across the industry by about 75 in the past two years. Using Grammarly Chat GPT takes care of most superficial proofreading editing well enough. And I don't see the industry surviving for more than a year or two. With the exception of academia medical legal documents. Everything else. From web copy to movie scripts and advertisements can basically be proofread and edited automatically and for free now. Comments on Reddit. Left-wing bot versus right-wing bot. And then people on Reddit actually reading, voting and commenting on the AI argument. This could possibly be happening already. One of my guess is that the trading industry will be dead in a few years as millions of AI bots will be constantly making the best possible purchases, which will make the market very low volatility. The best thing about AI in the knowledge worker space and art spaces is that it destroys itself. Since it trains to the average of the training data sets, once it outputs enough work, its own output becomes the average. At that point, the average will start drifting at random and occasionally will do so very abruptly. The only way to fix that is to hire a bunch of experts to curate and create data sets. For that, you also need a way to keep training experts. We will probably actually end up with more people working in the fields that currently feel under attack. Friendly reminder that not AI is the danger. But capitalism is. We could just automate the jobs and still have all of our needs fulfilled. But due to capitalism, the profit will only go to the very richest people while those who did the job before that fall into poverty.
Ed Sheeran. I'm hoping our. I'm done with people. Porn star. In a few years. When AI generated video content hits the right quality threshold. The porn industry is in for another big change. AI has already taken transcription to a next with the help of AI the quality and accuracy of transcription is way better as compared to the tools before AI. Jobs that require a very low level of adaptability. Most knowledge workers are on the chopping block. Just with very different timelines. Paralegal. Marketer. Writer. Super fucked. Astrophysicist. Doctor. Civil engineer. Mostly safe. For the time being. Middle management. The people who spend insane amounts of time sitting. Producing no real work. In a lot of companies they are the ones obsessed with meetings. Sharing information and giving orders this way is inefficient. AI will replace all of them in larger companies. I got a feeling 99 of all online articles will just be written by AI 10 years from now. Upper management. Travel agents. Hopefully influencers. Entry level positions. Which will make it harder to replace the people still around. Apprenticeships might still exist. I'm an RPA developer. A lot of bank jobs are redundant. Any work that can be done remotely can be automated. I make apps and TBHIDK when I'll be automated too. I tell myself that I have so much experience and work with so many creative people that need my expertise but in the end I know that it'll all just take fewer workers to get the job done. Copywriter. Hot take junior software engineer. Stack Overflow provides AI with an abundant amount of initial data to learn from. It can then read and understand other code. By scraping or looking at GitHub repos. Basically. Code is the most abundant online data source for AI. AI can also troubleshoot experiment with code at 1 million x the rate of a software engineer. Imagine AI SWE gets an error. It can try every possible fix from the entire internet in less than a minute. Here's to hoping that CEOs, executives and boards top the list. Programming maximize profits while staying within the spirit of the law and be good corporate citizens. I know it's not that easy but we can dream. Everyone and their mother made predictions about this almost 10 years ago and everyone was wrong. They said artists would be safest they were the first ones automated LMAO. There are no experts anymore. We are in completely uncharted territory. All anyone has to offer is speculation. Accounting clerks, cashiers, bank tellers. A lot of people think blue-collar jobs won't be affected as much. But I think there will be AI-generated DIY tutorial apps where you can take a picture of your setup. And progress and the AI will draw on the picture and explain in detail exactly what to do next. At first these apps won't be awesome. But eventually they'll be so powerful hiring someone for most repairs etc. won't make sense anymore. Stock image creator. Talent acquisition. As a tech worker, I've seen a lot of HR peeps in the Bay and Seattle getting hit hard by layoffs. It is so funny that people think that tech jobs, especially software developer jobs are going to get replaced. Writing code is not hard. Maintaining and fixing is hard. Unless there is an eye which could take into context the whole tech stack combined with the hosting and distribution set up as well as all the business requirements for every use case. It will just be a tool you can use. Like today's IDEs or debuggers.